Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach J.R. Tees, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. The Lions would go for the series win on Saturday against Texas State. Let's check out the game. Two highlights. Here we go Saturday at the Pat. Another beautiful day. And Jordan Hemel on the mound. First bat again. It's a pop up. Jordan showing his athleticism. Makes the play. Good breaking ball by Jordan. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good life on that fastball. Sam Robertson doing a great job receiving back there. True freshman behind the plate. Ooh, good breaking ball for strike three. Strikes him out. I'll tell you, he had the Texas State hitters baffled all day. Great job by Hemel. Super job. Hey, when you got a defense like we have behind you, it really gives you a lot of confidence. Sam Robertson swinging the ball in the dirt. But hey, gets by the catcher. Sam gets the first base. That's got to be frustrating for a pitcher and a catcher. Because now we do a good job with another ball in the dirt. Sam getting the second base. Pitcher has some patrol issues, but I tell you, he has such good stuff, but we just laid off of it. That's a good job of hitting by Brett Hoffman. Brett had a great weekend offensively for us. Swung the bat really well. Dan Hernandez runs it first and third. It's a push one in. First base misplays it. Run scores, runs it first, second. Put a lot of pressure on him. I thought our hitters did a great job of finding ways to pressurize Texas State. And I'll tell you, they didn't handle it very well. Rock A. Bear, first and second, two outs, big double down that left field line. That was a huge at bat, probably the at bat of the game. First and second, two outs, and A. Bear crushes that ball down the left field line. You see, you see Hoffman and, and Hernandez scoring. Good slide by Ben Hernandez. Slid so hard, made his shirt come on top. Good job. Brock gets the third base on that throw. This is a heads up play. Brock at third base, takes advantage of the catcher. Not really focusing, lobs it back to the pitcher, and Abear takes advantage of it. I tell you, you can't go to sleep with Abear on bases. He always hunts that extra bag. Lad Rhodes, single up the middle. You can see Jonathan Pace was running on the pitch. Scores on it, Gogger gets a little excited. He baby bulled out right there. Little baby bull kind of got off the bag and threw him out of second base. But good job of hitting my Lad Rhodes. Hemel stays in command. Good life on that fastball. Gets in on the hitter, strike three. He knows does a good job of pitching on both sides of the plate with a fastball. As you can see, went in on the last hitter, goes away on this one for strike three. He had him baffled all day long. Swing and a miss, another strike three. As you can see, Texas State tried to go a little, their version of gold on gold, but it wasn't close. Had a little injury, Texas State. The catcher was injured. Now, say this is a great moment right here. Both teams coming together in prayer to kind of pray for their guy. Bad injury, ambulance had to come on the field. Immobilizing, but he ended up being okay, thank goodness. Game resumed, Jordan Email staying in command. You can see how much late life he had on his pitches. It's another swing and a miss. Go to Mamu. He gets a soft contact, a little flat of shortstop. Caleb Mangum did a great job in relief coming in. As you can see, he gets another fly ball. Come in, make the play, game over. Lions win on Saturday. Take the series on Saturday, which gives you an opportunity to go for the sweep. And the Lions win 8-1. to one. Jordan Hemel improves to 5-2. and two. Seven innings, only three hits and seven strikeouts. Brett Hoffman, big day offensive, going two for three. Kayla Manuel, two innings pitched, no run scored. Lions improved to 24-11, going into the sweep Sunday. Coach, big victory on Saturday. You take the series from Texas State, 8-1. to one. Jordan Hemel, really the story of this ball game, controlled those Bobcat hitters. Yeah, Jordan's been really good for us all year long. I tell you, he pitched with a great mentality. He's got such late life on his fastball, good command of his all-speed pitches. And that's the difference in Jordan. He's commanded his all-speed pitches better now than he ever has, even when he was a freshman All-American. Now he's really established himself as a premier pitcher in this conference. And Coach, we just saw in the highlights uh, a really – a great example of sportsmanship by your club in Texas State as there was an injury in that ballgame. You hate to see injuries, uh, but it was really nice to see the two teams ride together in a moment of prayer on the middle of the field. Yeah, that was a scary injury. I mean, the young man went sliding head first into the wall. You know, the ambulance had to come on the field, immobilizing, took him to the hospital for x-rays on his neck and spine. Thank goodness everything came back fine and he's going to be good to go. The Lions take game one and game two of the series. Let's go back out to Alumni Field and check out the game three highlights. As you know what that means, when the Lions are going for a sweep, it's gold on gold. Sweep Sunday, you know what that means? Gold on gold. Going on, this is how you wear gold on gold. Texas State tried to show their version on Saturday. Wasn't even close. This is true gold on gold. Going for sweep. Buck Bernard getting his first conference start. And he was really good. You can see the movement on that pitch right there. Just blows it right behind for strike three. 
His fastball moves so much. Good changeup, good curveball. Pitches his fastball on both sides of the plate. Good job of him pitching. Breaking ball for strike three. Hey, Buck's a tough kid, great mentality. That's what you want to see, good mental toughness. Running scoring position, strike three. Jacob Fisher does a great job handling it behind the plate. Jacob handles that pitch staff really well. Good job of Jacob hitting that big hop of the first base. Pitcher late covering because of Jacob's speed. He gets over there and beats it out. Good job by Jacob. Really utilizing the speed on that play. Brett Hoffman doing a great job showing some strike zone discipline, laying off a tough pitch, drawing the walk. And that's what, that was the difference in the weekend. We didn't swing at balls out the zone. We showed our discipline, he throws it in the zone like that. And Ben Hernandez does a great job hitting the ball through the middle. Jacob Fisher getting third base. Good job by Sweet Ben getting down there with Coach. Feels comfortable down there with Coach with his hard hat on. Bases are loaded for Harry Slade. Harry Slade hits a big hopper, but this was a huge play. 0-0 ball game. They made a nice play. A little 4-6-3 double play. Went to the bullpen in the sixth inning. He got a great start. Went to the pin. A little strike him out, throw him out. Dylan Hills did a super job coming in relief. You can see strike three. Jacob Fisher throws him out of second base. That was a huge play. And Dylan Hill just absolutely blows that ball right by him. Dylan goes three innings, no runs. Brett Hoffman still no 0-0 ball game. And he crushes a double off of the sign world sign. Scores Lad Rhodes, big hit right there. Scored first run. I tell you, we went in one nothing, but it felt like 20 to nothing because everybody's pitching so well. Ben Hernandez, good job of hitting. Laces that ball through the right side. Holds Hoffman up. Good job by Coach Riser holding him up there. You can see Sweet Ben at first base. Good job of hitting. Left on left, driving the ball the other way, adding on to that lead, getting Hoffman in. That's what you want to see. Get the lead, just keep adding on, keep adding on. That's what we did a good job of on the night. Brock Hebert driving that pitch. That was a good job of hitting my Brock. Break the ball away, drives it the other way, scores two runs. You see Harry Slade coming in. Brock's been big for us all year. Great job of hitting. Jonathan Pace drives the ball to the right side. Alex Mars with a good job running. You can see that slide. He comes sliding hands and knees, gets in there. Gets a big end, six runs in the end. Just absolutely exploded. Turn it over to Stefan Lopez. Just blows it by him for strike three. Great job by Lopez. I tell you, you gotta, you gotta like the chance when Lopes on the mound. Gets him out front. Fly ball to Harry Slade. Lions sweep Texas State. Great job by the Southeastern. Sweeping Texas State six to one. Dylan Hill is fantastic coming in. Three shutout innings of relief of Buck Bernard, who threw five shutout innings. Lions improved to 25 and 11 with the sweep. Coach, you complete the sweep of Texas State. I know that's got to be big for your program. That club comes in here, a very talented club. We talked last week. You said they might be the most talented team in the conference, and you sweep those guys in three-game series. Yeah, I don't think there's any question they are the most talented team, but our guys just played really well. We rose to the challenge. We pitched it well. Three great starts from Chutor and Hemel. And Buck Bernard was outstanding on Sunday, five scoreless innings. And then our bullpen held to bay, but our hitters did a good job of, you know, this weekend more than ever, I saw them, you know, just dominating the strike zone, not swinging the balls out the zone, forcing their pitchers to throw a lot of pitches, and it wore that starters down. Well, Coach, in that one inning where you put up the big runs, you had six consecutive hits at one time, really put a lot of pressure on those guys. Buck Bernard held those down. And let's talk about Buck Bernard. Uh, you've kind of been playing with that Sunday starter, and he really came to the, uh, you know, answered the bell right there on Sunday. He did. I mean, Buck stepped up and did exactly what we needed. He gave us a good quality start on Sunday. Our bullpen was very fresh because of the job of Chutor and Hemel did. So he gave us five shutout innings, gave it to Dylan Hills for three and Lopez for one, and that's a good combination. The Lions improved to 25 and 11 overall, 11 and 7 in Southland Conference play. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have a lot more for you right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. 